Do you want to share files between computers over your Wi-Fi network? In this video, you will see how to connect and share files between computers over Wi-Fi. Preparing computers for the connection. Sharing files between computers is easy. You need to follow some steps before accessing data on your Wi-Fi network. So, let's prepare our computers for sharing. Connect computers on the same Wi-Fi. You need to make sure that the computers you are trying to connect and share data are on the same Wi-Fi network. So, click on the Wi-Fi icon on both computers and check if they are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. Make sure computers are on the private network. Now you need to make sure that the computers connected are not on a public network. They should be on a private network because file sharing is not allowed on public network. To check that, click on the Wi-Fi icon, then expand the Wi-Fi connections here. Click on this info icon next to your connected network to access its properties. Then here under the network profile type, you can change from a public network to a private network. Do the same with the other computers you are trying to share the data between. Rename your PCs. It is best to rename your PC so that you can recognize and find it easily while looking for the shared data. So we will rename this first PC. To do that, open settings. Under the systems tab, scroll down and click on about. Here on the top, you can see the PC name. It is desktop and some numbers. It's difficult to identify. So we will rename. Enter the name like main PC or laptop 1. Similarly, we will rename our second PC also. We will use laptop 2 as a name for this one. Enable file and printer sharing. The next thing you need to do is enable file and printer sharing. Although file and printer sharing is enabled on the private network, we should look at the settings to know the available options. Open the settings, click on the network and internet, scroll down and click on the advanced sharing settings. Then under the more setting, click on the advanced share settings. If you are on the Windows 10, you can search for advanced sharing settings on the start menu. You will see the control panel window. Settings are very much similar to Windows 11. Here you can see the current profile is private network. The network discovery and file printer sharing are enabled here. Now here if you expand the all network, you will see public folder sharing. If you enable this, other people on the network will also be able to read and write in the public folders. Another setting to look at is password protected sharing. If you enable this, people who have user accounts or know the username and password of this PC can access shared files. If you trust the people on your network, you can disable this option and they don't have to enter a username and password before accessing the shared files. Otherwise, it's best that you keep it enabled. Sharing the files, folders or drive. Now that we have configured everything, we can share the data. We are sharing the data on laptop 1. Right click on the folder you want to share, then select properties. Click on the sharing tab. Here, select advanced sharing and then select this folder. You can click on the permission to manage read and write permissions for a particular or all users. You can click on add users to add specific users here. If you know the username, you can just type that here and click on the check names to confirm the user. If you don't know the exact username, click on the advanced. Here click on the find now. You will see the list of all the users and users group on your PC. You can browse through and select the user you want to give permission and then click OK. Now here you can provide permission to only read, change or have full control. You can use the same steps to share any file, folder or whole drive on any of the PC you are connecting through the Wi-Fi. Accessing the data. You have enabled the sharing and share the files. Now let's see how to access the shared data on another PC. We will access the shared files from laptop 1 onto laptop 2. 
So on our laptop too, we will open File Explorer. Then click on the network. Here you can see laptop one. If we we'll double click on it, it will ask for username and password. Note that here if you enable the password protected sharing, you will see the username and password prompt. If you have disabled that, you won't see the prompt and anyone can access the shared data. Now after entering the credentials, we will be able to see the shared data from laptop one. We can open the contents of the file. We can copy and paste it on your PC. We can do anything we want. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.